we can have some more example on uh, load characteristics is that the question in example number four. Example number four says that that load duration curve mother pump station is given like this is the load duration curve for a power station where the this is the load and this is the time. 100%. So, if the plant capacity factor is 70%, we have to find the reserve capacity. We have to find the reserve capacity. <clears throat> so in this question, uh, as we can see that this is this is a load duration curve. So maximum demand is right now 50, and the average demand here is uh, sorry, the maximum demand is 90, and the uh, average demand is 50 megawatts. And the plant capacity factor is given as 70%. And we have to find the reserve capacity. So one can understand from here that the plant capacity factor we know is the average demand upon the plant capacity. Plant capacity factor is given, average demand is given, so we can find the plant capacity as yes. is equal to the average demand in which is right now 50 what is the average demand right now is that 50, some people do that as a 50, but the average demand if we see that is not 50, is 50 plus 90 that is equals to. So, first of all, we need to find the average demand which is equals to the 90 plus 50 divided by 2, which is equals to 70 by the walk. So, this is the thing which we need to understand the average demand is right now 90 plus. 50 by 2, then 90 plus 50 by 2 will be the average amount which will be approximately coming over here, which is 70 megawatts right now. So the plant capacity would now be 70 divided by the plant capacity factor 0.7. So we will be getting plant capacity as 100 megawatt. But we need to find the reserve capacity. So we need to uh, know the formula for reserve capacity is like city is reserve capacity is equal to plant capacity minus the maximum demand. So here the Reserve capacity we found is 100 and uh, maximum demand is 90. So the answer is 10 megawatt is the reserve capacity of the total system. And this was example number 4. So we can have an example number 5 also. <clears throat> We can have example number 5 as the maximum demand of the system is 15,000 kilowatts. Okay. 
the annual load factor is 50 percent. Plant capacity factor is 40 percent. So we have to find the reserve capacity again. So in the example number one or two, I suppose, we found the plant capacity factor is equal to average demand upon moderated system capacity. So we can replace this average demand right now from maximum demand to load factor. So, the maximum demand is already given, the road factor is already given, plant capacity factor is already given, so we can find the rated system capacity now. The plant capacity or the rated system capacity, whatever. Rated system capacity from this formula would be maximum demand, which is equals to 15,000 megawatt. So 15,000 kilowatt multiplied by my load factor which is 50% it means that is 0.5 divided by the time capacity factor which is 0.4 or 40%. So the rated system capacity from this is 18,750 kilowatt. So again we have to find the rated uh, uh, reserve uh, capacity. So, R reserve capacity would be equal to my rated system capacity minus the maximum one. Rated system capacity here is 18,750 minus of maximum demand, it is 15,000 kilowatts. So, the reserve capacity would be. 3750 megawatts, kilowatts. So, this is another objective type of question. We have done almost in two or three minutes, suppose. So, uh, since I am explaining this to you, so it is taking three minutes almost time. But in the exam, you have to do it very fast, and this is a very short example. Uh, and this is an objective type of question which have been asked in some public sector examination and uh, engineering services examination also so this is also important from date point of view and from other engineering services uh, examination point of view <coughs> so we can go for and another small example on the same as example number six, example number six. This is also a question which is which have been asked in some examination that the density of the water is given. Is given as thousand kilograms per meter cube. We have to find the power developed by the hydropower plant. If 100% efficiency is there, efficiency is 100%, we have to find the power developed with the head is given as 1 meter, and is given as 1 meters, and the distance is 
1 meter cube, the discharge is 1 meter cube per second. So we have to find the <coughs> power developed. We have uh, seen this formula, this is a direct formula right now. We have seen this formula in the uh, when we were studying about the hydropower plants and the direct formula which somebody might be remembering the power developed by a hydropower plant is equal to 0.75 upon 736. Sorry, 736 divided by 0.75. Or 0.75 divided by 736 divided by 0.75 multiplied by Q, W, and H. So Q is the density of the water. Oh, sorry, Q is the discharge here per meter cube. W is the density of the water that is 1000 and is given as 100 percent and H is given as one meter cube. So we can directly have. 736 divided by 0.75 sorry 0.736 divided by 75 multiplied by Q is given as 1 into W is given as 1000 into the efficiency is 100% it means 1 into my head is 1 again so the power developed is coming as 9.8 kilowatts. 9.80 kilowatts. <clears throat> this is a direct question. So please remember this formula also. 0.736 by 75. And this is this is coming in kilowatts. <clears throat> So please remember this formula Q W N H for this thing. We can go for another example. The last example in this example number seven. It says that. <coughs> The maximum demand of a consumer is 2 kilowatt and the corresponding daily energy consumption is 30 minutes. So we have to find the load factor. <clears throat> For example number 4, 5, 6 and 7 which we have done or which we are going to do, the 7th example is already uh, asked in some objective type of questions. So please uh, follow these questions, these are important questions, these, these type of questions can be asked in future examinations. So, this is also an example which uh, already uh, been asked in some uh, examination. So we have to find the maximum demand. Uh, sorry, we have to find the load factor when the maximum demand is given as two kilowatt and the daily energy consumption of a customer of a consumer is given as thirty units. So how to start with this question? <coughs> Units is given 30 units means 30 units means 30 kilowatt hours. So this is the daily. This is the 30 kilowatt is for day. So we have to find it for one hour. So for one hour, the consumption would be 
30 divided by 24, which is coming as 1.25. So, <clears throat> what is this 1.25 now? 1.25 is the average load on our customers and the maximum load is also given. So, we can find the load factor now. So, the load factor will be the average load that is 1.25 now divided by the maximum demand or the maximum load that is 2 kilowatts into 100% which is coming as 62.5% <coughs> How we have proceeded to this question we can understand it one more time that the 30 units which is given here 30 units is exactly equal to the 30 kilowatt hour in energy This is the energy consumption for a daily means for 24, 24 hours. So we need to find that for the load factor is supposed to be since for the day. We have to find it for the <coughs> per hour on per hour basis. The load factor will be now here. So we have to find first of all the average load which is called 30 divided by 24 that is 1.25 uh, kilowatt is the average load of the customer. So 1.25 divided by 2 will be giving you the load factor into 100% that is equal to 62.5 percentage. So we can have these type of examples in objective type of questions in uh, examination also. So please remember the formula for load characteristics and, and maximum time the load characteristics problems are asked in examination. So please remember these questions.